We have with us Mr. Richard Recky. He is the CEO of KPMG. Thank you for joining us. Sir. Thank you very much. So you have been re you all been releasing the MCI report today. Could you please brief a little bit on uh, your the findings? Uh, the MCI report is basically the management capability index and this is con done by various countries. India last did it in 2011 and now we are doing it in 2014. Uh, on the positive side in this report, it actually checks the management capability across 10 parameters, which includes corporate governance, external affairs, how does the company deal with technology, how does the company deal with change, how to deal with competitor kind of data. And India rank got a rating of about 70 point some percent. About 500 people were surveyed, out of which 300 were very senior executives. And so the, it is quite a composite kind of report, which gives the general capability index in India. The good side of the story is that our 70% is almost in the same ballpark range of what Australia is, what Hong Kong is, uh, what New Zealand is, what Malaysia is. So th we are on that ballpark in the same range. But the other thing which we need to look at is which areas of improvement. And one of the biggest areas of improvement is the 70% can go to 80 or 90%. I think that's where India needs to look at. And it's a good report to tell management what is your capability in different areas across different parameters, living in a very complex world and we need to see how we can improve upon that and, and look at it from that point of view. So how can the corporate play a bigger role in enhancing the whole ecosystem? Yeah, the corporates, because uh, management is going to be very critical in the success. India's growth story, as you can see, the um, climate is very optimistic. You need good management talent how to run companies and make them global. And if we are able to train our managers across technology, across all these 10 parameters, and a few more parameters can be brought in, I think management can come to know where the capability is. Companies can come to know where the management capabilities are, where are the gaps, and what do we need to do in terms of training, in terms of experience, in terms of ecosystem. And once you know where the gaps are, you can then sit and improve it or make it better. How can we encourage more PPP in the education segment? Uh, the PPP model will come uh, for two reasons. If we can make the education sector a little more attractive than what it is today. Uh, and How can we make it more attractive? Uh, people should be allowed to be able to have a commercial angle to education because any business person who wants to get into it there needs to be a commercial angle so that you can get the best research done you can get the best teachers you can get the best education kind of imparting today education is looked at as not for profit while the main theme can be not for profit but still you need to make profit to be able to pay the teachers well to be able to get the best faculty and to encourage good people to come into education and i think that requires a big mindset change it requires corporates to put a lot of money into research into getting some high end education brought into india which will help uh, because today India is one of the largest exporters of students who go out and study outside. So why can't they not study in India? So if they had some really good colleges and really good higher education, I think people would have studied in India. So you were mentioning a second point as well. Uh, the, the second point is how do you make it attractive for people to come and set up uh, uh, set up institutions on a more sustained basis. So, you know, instead of having it the way it is, we need to re-look at the whole, uh, the, the whole way we structure it. Are you working with the government? Uh, we are working with, uh, with various uh, uh, agencies, with NSDC, where we are helping on certain projects and, and looking at it. So, we are in a way working with the government. So, um what do you think uh, is the government like? Do you think the government is in the right direction towards bringing in more quality in education? Yes, I think the government is in the right direction. Uh, government is seized of the matter, and things will take time. You know, the rules and laws are pretty old, and they need to get changed. So it'll take over some period of time before it can be changed. So KPMG is hiring around forty-two thousand graduates this quarter. So what is the share that you would be giving to the MBA graduates? We, that would be about 5%, uh, 5% of the total hiring will be from the MBA schools, graduates. What kind of CTC will <coughs> that? Uh, we start at about uh, 15 lakhs. Would you, be, would you be going to the new IIMs to hire? Yes, we are not close to any of the IIMs. In fact, we found some really good talent in some of the new IIMs and some really brilliant talent out there. What we are doing, when we hire people, we, hire, we like to hire the top percentile and we like to hire people with good attitude.
do you get the right skills in the graduates what's the skill that you what are the basic skills you are looking at while hiring graduates uh, while hiring graduates i think there's a big gap between what they need to work and i think that that big gap has to be fulfilled and uh, we need we need to do a lot of training when we hire fresh graduates so what are some uh, three specific skills that you are looking at soft skills impact and leadership skills thank you for joining us sir thank you